Okay, I want to do a quick video today to help you guys uh, with a problem that uh, you might be having if you're searching for this video. I had this problem and it took a little bit of research to figure out how to fix it. I also had the same problem, uh, I don't know, a year ago uh, when something in my network changed and I fixed it then but I forgot to document it so that's why I'm documenting it now so you won't have to spend hours like me re-researching something that you fixed in the past. So anyways, this is for when you can't get to a web console for security onion um, for the web uh, uh, web GUI in the browser and so uh, this is how I fixed it. On mine it was pointing to an old IP address. It was in the .147 range and uh, I could not access it. I did everything that you would do SO allow and um, you know added the IP and everything it just wouldn't work so um, I just went ahead and ran this command which is uh, you have to run it as root s uh, so dash IP dash update as you can see here um, it'll bring up a little screen and you got to do that by the way from your the IP address either if you have a physical box on if you're running on metal then you'll want to do it from there um, remote into it and do that um, or in my case I'm doing it in a Proxmox VM and so you can see here I just ran the SO update uh, it popped up a little box uh, or not a box but a dialog and it asked you are you sure you want to do this and it auto detected my new uh, IP uh, which was in the one it's 195 on my network but doesn't matter um, it'll be something different on yours I went ahead and said yes it went through uh, all of its uh, uh, it took like a minute to go through it and update and change everything and uh, it was successful and then it says uh, to implement the change you'll need to reboot and uh, just go ahead and do that I did that and when it came back up um, I went to the uh, uh, security onion uh, as you can see it on the 195 uh, right here and uh, it would still not bring it up. Uh, so I did a shift reload or it, you can also do uh, shift F5 on your browser but basically you're reloading the page without cache um, and then once it did that without cache then it gave me the security onion login so uh, that's basically how I solved it. So again the command and you can see it was here. By the way this is a really good page it's on the um, uh, Security Onion cheat sheet. It's got some good things for checking statuses and so forth, um, and just you know some uh, links to the uh, good relevant doc documentation pages, so forth. Um, but uh, the one that fixed it for me, at least, was the uh, running as root the so dash ip dash update. And uh, I hope this will save you guys some time. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, put them in the comments section and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, thank you.